All right, today we're gonna go over kind of the exterior parts of pigs, and we're gonna try to do this as quick as we can. This guy's kind of sectioned off from the rest of them, so hopefully he doesn't freak out too much by himself. Um, but we're gonna start up here in the top part of the animal. Up here, this whole entire area, we're gonna call his head. On the parts of the head here, we've got his ear down right in here. We've got the pig's eye. Here we would have his snout, kind of the end of his nose and his mouth right down in here. This chunky part of his cheek, some people would call it the cheek. We've also got the jowl, which is this flap of skin and kind of muscle that we've got right in here. From there, we've got his neck, kind of right up in here. This part of the animal. Right here, we have his shoulder, or in the pig world, most of the time we call it the blade. From the blade um, and the shoulder, we kind of work our way down the side of him here. Here, we would have his four flank, which would be right in here. We would have his rib cage, which would kind of be this general area of the animal. Down in here, we would have the animal's belly. Or as we're working across this way, we would have the full rib, the belly, and the flank. And together in the animal judging world, we would call that the animal's underline. Now, if it's a female, we also would count the underline as the teeth right down here. On the bottom part, this guy here is a male. So right in here would be the animal's sheath, or his male uh, part. That we've got right in there. We talked about this would be the flank, the rear flank. So then, like we said, this is kind of the belly that we've got located down here. As we work our way up to the top of the animal, this whole section we would call the back. So this is where our primary muscle is going to be coming from inside of our pig, right in here. The parts of the back. The parts of the back, the muscle that runs on either side. Not a happy camper. The muscle that runs on either side of the back right in here would be the loin. But in particular, this section right here is going to be where our loin happens to be at. Then we would have our hip and our rump, which is going to be located right in here. Underneath here, where we've got the hip and the rump, you'll see this bulgy muscle. That's our stifle our stifle joint and our stifle muscle located right in there. This big bulgy muscle that we've got all in here, um, that is actually the ham. So where we get our ham muscle from, that would be the ham kind of located right in there. On top of the uh, ham, kind of right behind where the rump is, this is our tail. On a female, right here with a little pointy part, her external female part called the vulva. This is a male pig or a barrow, so it's not there. Um, also, on a male pig that we would use for breeding or a boar, his testicles would be located right here, which he does not have because he has been castrated. From there, we work our way down the back leg, so this would be the shank right in here. This triangle part would be our hock, so that's the pointy part, H-O-C-K, not hock like the bird. Underneath the hock, we've got the cannon bone. Underneath the cannon bone right here, this pointy thing is the dew claw. Underneath the dew claw, we have the pastern, which would be this flexible kind of part down here you can't see very well because he's uh, in our mulch. And then of course we've got the toes, or the hoof, right down here. Toes we really pay attention to in pigs because we build them from the ground up. So if they're good structured and have good feet and good toes, um, that means typically they're going to move around a lot better, which is good because they're kind of bulky, heavy muscled animals. On the front leg then, we've kind of got our elbow or our forearm kind of right back in here. Down from the forearm, we've got the knee right in here. Underneath the knee, we've been, again got the cannon bone right in here. And then again, we've got the dew claw, the pastern, and our front hoof. Um, hopefully that kind of covers some of our basic parts of our pig. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. And we've got this somewhat not exactly willing participant who's jumped in the pen to help us. You'll notice he's got these little triangle things in his ears, which are called ear notches. And then, of course, he does not have an ear tag because his has since fallen out, but most pigs don't really have an ear tag. So those are a few basic parts of the pig. 